Hello fellow coders, welcome back to the React Crash Course. For those of you who are new and haven't seen my previous videos, I highly recommend you check out my previous two videos on React Basics. We learned how to set up a starter project, install dependencies, we built our first React component, and what the differences were between functional and class components. That was a lot of information there, and if you're not entirely familiar with those topics, check out those last two videos. Now let's talk about what we'll learn today. Today we'll be learning about props and how to pass data into a React component. We will be building this sort of license card component here. Here. This component takes in a few props in order to render all this information. Without props, we'd probably have to duplicate a lot of code whenever we want to reuse the component. So this license component relies on five pieces of information. It needs an image, it will need a name, a street address, a state, and an age to render. Because we have these five props, I can easily create several license cards by just passing the license card component the data it needs. I don't need to copy and paste a bunch of code and HTML over and over again. So that's a synopsis of what we will be developing today. Now let's talk more about props. So I'm sure after listening to me demonstrating the license card, we can conclude that props are just pieces of data that a component needs. Could be a number, could be a string, could be an image. It is simply the data that completes the component. So when we are seeing data on a website, maybe sometimes it updates or changes, that is most likely being piped through React props, if of course the site was built in React. Alright, now let's start writing some code. If you have the first project we made in the starter project video, feel free to use that. Otherwise, you can create your own React starter project or maybe build off of one you already have. So now I have VS Code open with my project. The first thing I'm going to do is make a components folder since that's where my components live. And we're going to call this new component license since it looks like a license. And the code for our license component is going to live inside of this index.js file. And the first thing we're going to want to do is import React so that we can actually use it. I'm going to say import star as React from React. I'm going to import a styles folder that I haven't created yet, um, but we will later for our SAS or CSS. If you use CSS, that is totally fine, but if you use SAS like I do, you want to make sure that you have the dependency node SAS installed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to stop my server and run yard add node SAS before we get an error if we try to um, write some SAS code without having this installed. I'm going to go ahead and create that styles file. I like to pretty much get all my infrastructure set up before I start writing any code. Now I'm going to start writing out my license component. And that is going to be a regular JavaScript function called license. This license is going to take in props as its argument, so you'll want to make sure you have props here as our parameter. And it's going to return some JSX. So I'm going to have this return a div. And this div is going to hold all the content that is in our license. This represents the whole license component. Because this represents the entire license, I'm going to give this a class name of license. Now I'm going to make an image tag for our image that goes inside of the license. And as our image source, we'll want to pass in props.image. Since this license will be taking in an image, I'm going to pass that in right here as its source. So this is how you would actually use the props that you pass into your component. You would call the props argument that you have up here dot whatever the prop name is that you want to select. Now I'm going to make a new div, and this div is going to contain all of the info that we see on the license, like the name, the state, street address, all that good stuff. And this is going to be in a separate container. I'm going to give this a class name of license info. And now I'm going to start making that large header text that holds the name. So we're going to make our h2 tags and then pass in props.name. That'll be the name prop that we pass into this license. I'm going to go ahead and auto format everything so it's easier to read. Then I'm going to create a new div. And inside this div, we will want both the street address and the state. So what I'm going to do is start writing the street address text between these b tags here, which is what allows this text to become bolded. I'm going to go ahead and do the same for state as well. And lastly, we'll want to call our street address prop. So whatever street address is passed into this component will show up next to this street address text. I don't know why every time I make a new set of curly braces, it just goes off to the left like that. It's a little weird. Okay, props.state. And then outside of this div, I'm going to make a new paragraph tag, which represents the small paragraph text we see at the bottom of the license here, which says whether or not you are old enough to drink. I'm going to give this a class name of 
license age. And for now, I'm just gonna call props.age. Now I'm gonna export this by default so that we are able to use this in other areas of the app. If I don't export this, I won't be able to actually um, use this. So you'll wanna make sure that you have this exported and then we're gonna import this in our app component so that we can see it in our browser. So this is the overall structure of our license component. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page. And as you can see, we aren't seeing anything except some street address and some state text. That is because we haven't passed in anything as our props yet. So what we did basically is was we imported this license component and we're using it over here, but we're not passing in any props as our data to show. So what I'm gonna do next is actually pass in our props. Like I said, we have five pieces of data this component would need. It would need an image. So what I'm gonna do actually is make a new folder and call it assets. And that's where my images are gonna live. And now my image is in this assets folder here and we'll be able to use that. Now what we're gonna wanna do is put this image in a const. Basically what I did here is I required the image from my assets folder and I placed this into a variable. What we're gonna do is pass that in as a prop and the way to do that is to call the prop name that you are targeting. So since we wanna pass in an image, which as you can see the name of that prop is image, we're just gonna call image and directly pass one in like so. And that is how you would pass in a piece of data as a prop. The next prop we'll wanna pass in is a name. So I'm gonna give this a name of Chandler Keys. We need to pass in a street address. We need to pass in a state. And then we need an age as well. I'm gonna go ahead and press save. And if I look in my browser, as you can see, we see the image that I have, but things aren't looking too pretty. We see the age, the state, address, all the props that I passed in, which is great, but it doesn't look like this license card that we see over here. And that is because we need to add our SAS code, or in other words, SCSS. It's basically no different than CSS, except you have some additional features. So we should be good to go to start writing up some styles. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is paste in this Google font here. I'll have this in the description of the video or um, you can find this in my GitHub repository as well. But basically we're importing a font that we wanna use from Google. Currently I'm using the Poppins font family, which isn't something that would come with my project um, by default. So we'll wanna import that from Google Fonts. Next what I'm gonna do is create a selector and I'm going to be selecting the element that has the class name of license. And we're gonna give this license component a width of 460 pixels. We're gonna say display flex so that we can have things align properly and lay out properly. And then I'm also gonna give this a border radius of six pixels. And that is what allows us to have these round edges on the sides of the, on the corners of the license card. I'm gonna give this a border of one pixel. I'm gonna make it solid and give it the hex value of ADC. 9cc. Next we'll want to give this a font family of poppins and then I'm just going to give this a background color of white. Now I'm going to start styling my image that is in the license component which is this image you see here. We're going to give it a width of 200 pixels and I'm going to give the top left and bottom left borders a radius of 6 pixels. Now I'm gonna target the license info div and the shorthand way to call that class name is by using the and sign. And this is a really easy shorthand way to call a class name if you're using nesting. Basically it's gonna take the parent most class name and allow you to append text next to it, making this file appear a lot cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and text align all the content that is in the license info div to the left. So we're gonna say text align left. I'm gonna give it some padding on the left, um, 15 pixels specifically. We're gonna say display flex, and I'm gonna give it a flex direction of column so that um, all the elements are rendering from top and bottom instead of next to each other. Next, we're gonna say justify content space between, which allows us to have some spacing between our elements. And then I'm gonna target both the paragraph tag and the header text. And what we're gonna do is remove any margins that may be around it. So we have some, uh, we remove some spacing that's around those text, pieces of text. 
Then I'm going to target H2 again and give it a padding of 10 pixels on the top and bottom and zero on the left and right. Last but not least, we're going to want to target the license age div. So I'm going to write and dash age. And I'm going to give this a font style of italic. And that's what's going to make that age text render in a slanted way. Gonna give this a font size of 12. Padding bottom of 15. And we're gonna make this a color gray. As you can see, we have this cute license card, but there are a couple things that look different though. For one, the background here is like this nice bluish color and we have the license cards being centered. Right now it's displaying in the top left corner of the screen, which isn't what we want. Another thing is we're seeing some text that says whether or not you are older to drink, which is what we haven't set up to do yet. So we're gonna do that first, and then lastly we'll wrap up the styling. So what I'm gonna do is go back to our license component. We are rendering the age, but we aren't showing off whether or not we are able to drink. So what I'm gonna do is make a new function, and for now, we can call this function render age, and this will be responsible for rendering that age copy that we see at the bottom of the card. Render age is responsible for taking in an age as its argument. And what we're going to do is say if the age is less than 21, we're going to return some text that says that we are under age. Age and I am not old enough to drink. Then if we are above 21, we're going to return the text, I am age, and I am old enough to drink. Now I'm going to call render age in place of where we have props.age rendering, and we're going to want to pass in props.age as that age argument. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page again, and now as you can see, we are seeing what we'd expect. I am 20 and I am not old enough to drink. I'm going to go ahead and test this real quick by passing in an age like 25, and we should expect to see that we are old enough to drink, and as you can see, it's working as we'd expect it. Last thing we want to do before we go is adjust the styling so that things look prettier. I'm going to go ahead and paste some CSS into my app.css file. What we're doing is we're targeting the app div, and we're giving it a width of 100 making the height take up the full height of the screen, giving it display flex so we can do some alignment, we centered the license card, things like that. Don't want to go over the styling too deep simply because this video covers props, not CSS. As you can see, after I refresh, we have this nice clean license card and it is perfectly centered in our screen and it's properly showing whether or not we are old enough to drink. And that, my friends, is the basics of React props and how you can easily pass data into your component and reuse it. I also want to quickly show how easy it is to reuse components once we introduce props. So I can easily copy and paste this license component um, and pass in some new information. And it's really cool because this removes the need for us to copy and paste a bunch of HTML over and over again. And give this a different address. We'll say that Bob is from Texas and that he is 42. I'm going to save that. And as you can see, we have a new license card that says Bob, new address from Texas, and is the age of 42 and is, and is old enough to drink. So as you can see, it is super easy to reuse components as well. And that is why I love React. That is the end of this tutorial. If you have any comments, suggestions, concerns, leave that in the comment section below or feel free to leave me any questions and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please stay tuned for the last two React tutorials where we'll be covering React hooks. In the next tutorial, we can get a basic understanding around the use state hook. Stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in a couple weeks.